So this is a follow-up to my governor video where we weren't sure what was going on with it externally um, because the engine, as soon as you started it, would overspeed and everything appeared to be adjusted correctly. And so what we did was run this thing, uh, basically disconnected all the linkages um, and to try to feel if this was governor was putting any sort of resistance or any sort of movement and uh, yeah that explains quite a bit as to uh, why this Briggs and Stratton is uh, running ungoverned oh no that is definitely not supposed to be there and that plunger definitely is not supposed to be down in there. So, looking at the gears, I don't see any missing teeth or anything that may be. Maybe bad. So this is the other side. I don't see any damage to this mechanism that would warrant replacement. I see a little nick in it right there, but. does not appear to be bent or anything any other major damage let's see anything in here either that would uh, be offensive Anything wrong in there? Not a journal. That's where we get oil from. But it appears as if this is really the main problem. Right there. I'd seen another video where when this failed, it took out the uh, cam. So. I got lucky, I believe, because we didn't take out the cam, we didn't take out any of these gears, I don't see any damage to anything in the crankcase. Just have these disintegrated pieces. This guy, well, he's in the crankcase. There's no way it can actuate Mr. Rod over here. So I need to drain what's left out of here and order parts, put it back together, and hope for the best. Looks like this pin is still there. And. It's just really badly mangled. So I think this should be all of the pieces. I don't think there's anything left. I didn't see any metal particles in the oil when it was drained. Yep. Failed. come up but it's about a hundred hours hundred and hundred and twenty seven